Hey, good people, how are you? Market Sniper here coming at you. Non farm tomorrow. Just had the Okinawa G20. Yes, um, it's been a fascinating time. And I, I want to say that uh, it reminded me of a certain period. And the period was the final quarter of 2015. Wait for it. So I was on World Finance being interviewed uh, around that time. And in actual fact, the Fed had just upped an interest rate. And the key comments I was making, I'll let you hear it uh, about it now. Um, and we'll just play an edit. And I've also got it a nice, super quick, so you can just hear and get the, the gist of where we were. Because if you need to hear this, you will hear in context of what was going on then versus where we are today and how there are similarities to the 2015 end of year going into 16, which led to a major meltdown in the Chinese stock market in 16. And the copper market eventually hit a final low in the late uh, first quarter of 16. And of course, the G20 struck in March and April during all this turmoil. So um, this was done before. It was recorded in December, around about mid-December um, with World Finance, first week of December. And they had it up by the 21st of December, as you can see on their YouTube channel. Not particularly highly viewed, um, but they do a lot of PR for a lot of other people. And they're all told they've got to have social media. So they go and do it. But I'm not sure their heart is always in it. Anyway, let's hear, let's hear what was said uh, then, because I was quite bearish and the interviewee remark thereon. So without further ado, let's get the snippets of then and see how you feel about how it was now and how much might have um, changed in your worldview. I'm going to get the mic over there so that you can hear it firsthand. The underside on the, the rate uh, that interest rates are going up in terms of what's being guided for the investment banks. This is going to be one of the meekest and most mild bottoming out cycles. And there is even scope for backward steps here. You know, it would be a bit egg on face, but who knows? You could have a, a principle where there's actually some quantitative easing going on when effectively you've actually had a marginal tightening in rates. Sounds perverse. It sounds like pouring water on the fire on one end and petrol on the other, but we're not strong globally. And I'm, 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 I'm on the, the sort of the bearish side macroeconomically on the global context. Well, this all sounds a little bit negative. This isn't a good time to be a trader then? It's a great time. It's a great time. In fact, on the mid cap US stocks, we're getting lots of excellent setups for selling off short. So if you're a trader, be there. If you're a long only non leveraged investor, you've got to think carefully in terms of where you put your money. The one thing that did well in the year that goes by, so just to balance out, I suppose my bearishness is what's known as the FANG category, Facebook, Amazon, Netflix, Google, etc. In fact, I feel I've done almost too, too well. Will they be able to carry that momentum? I think for a while, potentially, but they can't be successful in a void. If the retail buyers go to ground and everybody else is feeling uh, too far gone pinched, um, we'll start to see a little bit of withering on the vine on that uh, trend too. Well, there are multiple trends that point to a volatile Forex market in 2016, but the world's economic lenders have also suggested that the world may well face a recession next year. So a uh, couple of key points there. The mid caps were weak. Uh, was my comment and we've been having setups this was in 2015 this was before we had the huge spill just post the fed increase rate uh, and the collapse and the china narrative of uh to january of 2016 let's look at some of those charts in actual fact to remind you of that time why is this relevant because we've just had we've just had um a, a g20 again and we went into it with gold bouncing up. Yes, last non-farm. I'll come to this in a minute. We actually traded the breakout of uh, gold. I'll show you the highlights of that. And you can come and join us for a non-farm um, tomorrow, in fact. Tomorrow, it's tomorrow. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, but I'm going to be tying all these threads together. Bear in mind, there's a bit going on here. It's sounding like, wow, what's all these pieces mean? Note the one thing when she said you're very bearish on most things. Uh, I was pointing out that actually the one thing that you could be doing if you were only, you were forced to be a long only and in a long time frame view, the one thing you could do was you could uh, invest in the macro big stocks and that I suspect they'll continue to go higher. In fact, our friend the Donald has been talking about his pride and joy as a president on the number of highs he's been able to generate into the stock market. So here was the beginning into 16. And you can see Fed up rates December. 
and the uh, and we absolutely wet the bed and sold off this was after a already very jittery sell-off in 15. now this looks rather small beer when you look at where we are now and this is very much why i actually feel let's logarithmic uh, make it a little bit log scale and pull it in and we just want from the end of 15 uh to there you can see those two bedwetting moments and what happened to the one thing that i said be long on if you are along yep the dollar milkshake ever pumping the liquidity into the big stocks what i was mentioning and we've been in our um, community actually shorting small and medium caps and making targets on them but the big stocks the super indices are the benchmark of success in this perverse environment everyone is working three jobs to earn what 80 percent of what they used to earn on one job but the stock market is up in this dollar milkshake theory world which sees everybody that is a stock owner shares your billionaires and millionaires that have big ass equity portfolios in the majors and in trackers just buy 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 and fly and i say that just as you look at the dow jones and it's making a new high almost it's making a new high is it high it's the smp's made a new high um let's have a look did the dow make a new high uh, it's about to if it didn't do it right now two six nine all the sixes two six nine all the sixes yes it's higher it's made a new high the dow's made a new high if you go and you look for the s p 500 the s p 500 will have made a new high let's put the spy in there because we know that because el presidente tells us so el presidente says um, all is well in the lunatic asylum the s p 500 makes a new high and in fact we teach about how you get broadening patterns and when they are descending broadening patterns you break out to the upside in fact they're onward continuation that makes no sense to you i'm not going to repeat it you can find out all about this um, as we're busy putting together our new theory for a bumper amazing training technical analysis a la sniper course new highs for equities and guess what it's going to carry on longer than you think this is going to be the most depression out global economy with the highest stock market you've ever seen that's right it is the polarization the more hammered the middle and the working class are the more extremely wealthy the equity investing class will be that is right liquidity 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 and uh what i also said in that clip you might have heard is it's going to be one of the most mellow uh, and low key uh, interest rate uh, hiking cycle they started it in 15 we then called in july of 18 that it'll be 33 months since that interview that i did uh which started just as they were began their first hike it was the slowest hike cycle they gave themselves very little headroom over those three and a half years of hiking uh all the investment banks that were saying five six or seven in that same clip i said never are they going to do that um and in actual fact that's exactly where we are they went and done a u-turn on the cycle and it's been the longest non hiking cycle where they barely got more than a handful of hikes over an virtually four years and then they are already going to be cutting next non-farm tomorrow the number will determine now non-farm has been a damn squid for quite a while for us for trading last month was awesome the whole community jumped on the gold as it was breaking why believe me why don't i show you an edited highlight of that non-farm payroll here we are as per recording back to the speaker and the microphone I'm falling wedge into a lot. i love that and i'm never going to argue with that and that has happened so there's things to like and there's things not to like let's have a look at the 30 minute oh yes he's right he's right he's right he's right gold 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 should we trade it let's trade it it's breaking it's not too late let's trade it hit your well done sam um let's hit our um trade coins have we done our draw yet have we are we rushing yes we're rushing slow down amygdala response Ooh, breaks okay come back to planet earth do your draws do your sizing Ooh, trade 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 stop 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 <laughs> that's how the movie goes
It is how the movie goes. I saw that movie before. It was round about a month ago. It was an awesome movie. You got in at 1336, gold mooned well past 1400. Guess what? You could have had that trade and you could have been part of it with us on non-farm and it's tomorrow. And we'll give you a chance to have a go tomorrow. I can't promise you that there'll be a break like that again. And we were watching it on the bigger time frame earlier, as you could see, and saying how at a macro level, whoop, 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 there you go. Keep him quiet, noisy man. Um, see, it was just happening. So that was what's happening. Now, let's tie this all together. The liquidity experiment last time when we go, let's get out of the extreme mode. This is too much to tell you. It's just flipping amazing um, what's going on at the moment. I, I, It's as perverse as ever. And I'm so excited about all this perversion. Isn't that bizarre? Well, who is this man? What makes him so excited? The great destruction is coming. So what happened last time? <laughs> he smirks and giggles with great glee. What happened last time with gold? Well, interestingly enough, let's go back to gold and that uh, 2000 and end of 15, 16 time. Because if you are smart and shrewd and watching, you may be aware, you may be aware that the beginning of 16 was the beginning of the bottoming of the gold. Oh, damn, let's just type gold in, shall we? All this fanning about. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Delete, 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 delete. Uh, mad as a box of frogs today, um, but that's okay. That's okay. It's coming close to Friday. It's non-farm in the funny farm of our global economy. And what could be more entertaining? So there you go. Coming into the 2016, this is what I was illustrating to show you. Actually, these were key pivotal events. We had a G20 and the world was falling apart. China was falling apart. Copper was in a similar line of descent. If we have time, I'll run past that. Gold was down, 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 down. Then boom, 2016. They went into to the Shanghai Accord. It was nicknamed the Shanghai Accord by uh, Jim Rykards. They All the, the leaders got together. We've got to save the world. We've got to save the world again. All of this. They came out and they said nothing. So they said, what did you do to save the world? We've got nothing to say. Nothing. There's nothing wrong with the world. All is well. Behind closed doors. <laughs> bit of this, bit of that. But a bargy bargy. Next thing you know, all quiet, keeping it stum. The little Freemasonry society have run around in their um, little aprons, etc., and decided to keep the whole parade partying on. They're going to relieve the Chinese um, pressure on the debt by letting the currency devalue, by letting the dollar soften. Gold suddenly goes, whoop, how's your auntie? Let's just have a little move from a 1,053 and trot up to the 1,380. Why don't you? 38% odd, uh, 35 at least. Um, and then began the end, the end of what was a very long bear market, 2016. There was your high ladies and beautiful gentlemen. You know, the gentlemen just don't get enough respect around here. The ladies and the LGBT crowd get all the freaking glory. Yes. So there you go. Down she flipping goes. And that was the bottom, 2016, behind closed doors at the Shanghai Accord. Those guys did a dirty and you got a liquidity experiment that led to that on gold this year coming into fear falling wedge into there this was our structure that we were saying we were waiting last non-farm literally you can see this in weeks it's four candles it broke we were getting in long there and there were setups on the smaller time frame that were also occurring so we've got a setup within a setup a supreme very tight stop with expansive risk reward we are still long it and we're looking for more out of it and by the way it's against all the currencies all the currencies i think only the yen has only just triggered now or about to trigger all the others are long gone near all-time highs against the australian dollar so that was what was going um, down in uh, 2016 and this is what is happening now and only during this period bitcoin was not such a star but guess what let's have a look at bitcoin people are saying it's starting to get significance as a risk asset so what happened in 2016 well let's have a little look see let's have a little look see so you guys want crypto you want everything in your clips you're going to get everything because it's all relevant you are all global macro men now watching this great pantomime unravel so we go for it over here 2016 coming into the beginning of 16 
guess what? You based out in Bitcoin. 2016 came and this is what started all the way into 2000 and uh, was it 18 high? Yeah, yeah, there. You just started the big parabola in Bitcoin. You are here right now. You saw what you got for your gold. You made a 35%. Bitcoin itself, around the beginning of 2016, let's clear my mess up a little bit. We can get you an actual number on that. Reaching for the mouse, everything's underneath me here. Um, 2016, let's get the 1st of Jan. What would you have got? Bitcoin, let's get that candle. It closed at, wait for it, $27.32. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. What's going on here? Guys, I'm being bonkers. I've got the formula in there. Sorry for that. It they looks very similar, but we're dividing it by silver. Let's get a real number, shall we, Francis? Too many clever charts and formulas. Okay, now this is getting really too much. Sorry, fellas. We did not want you to print. I don't know how you got to that. Don't you love these clever, clever machines? Let's get Bitstamp and we'll get Bitcoin at 2060. I'll get you a real value. What you were looking at there was in actual fact it divided by silver, very similar to the Bitcoin chart because Bitcoin was the most dominant. But let's get you a dollar valuation anyway. There you go. 2016, there it was. And the low or the close was $380. Tapped out at 20,000. 380 tapped out at 20,000. This is how it looks right here, right now. You think it's a shooting star, then it dips down and it starts to do that candle. Guess what? It could get sexy on you. It could get real sexy to you. A big bias bull there. Big bias bull the gold. Gold you can leverage a bit, but you can also leverage on um, Bitcoin. So what's been happening is essentially the liquidity gamers, that is your central banking cartel, tell you how many tools they have, but they all equal one thing. A tap you turn on which fiat runs out there from that is their game that is their tool we have many tools no all the ways that they do changing bank reserve ratios all of this is all about releasing more money in so you're going to get a stock market on the top level where they have access to finance and are deemed too big to fail that they almost have a state mandate going to the moon long the spy long the dow of all the majors Forget about it on your Russell. Your Russell and the smaller ones, uh, still, <coughs> your small caps, battling. The consumer battling and no implicit generosity. <coughs> Excuse me. No generosity from their banks with bottomless coffee type overdrafts. No siree. They don't get the same terms as the big corporates do. They are not going to do near as well. Let's get the Russell index and see if it's making new highs. I don't think so. So down we go and we do a Russell. There's your Russell. Now it's not shocking. It's not shocking, but it isn't making new highs. Now the Russell is 2000, probably the top 2000. Now imagine your small cap index. Well, it gets just worse and worse as you get smaller. By the way, the financials are in a terrible state. Why? interest rates my friend interest rates let's see what we get on the small cap etf again it's very similar to the russell it's not small enough but you can see from what i'm saying failure to make new highs this is the nifty 50 era now it's being turned into the top uh, mega corps going up on liquidity basis this is not their outlook getting better the valuations are hopelessly overvalued long gone this is an absolute world awash with liquidity except you aren't in the club to get that bottomless overdraft it goes to corporations mega corps it, they hide it goes to the wealthy who are making money and are diversifying out of stocks they only need to put a third of a percent into cryptos um, and you have a total market cap of about 210 billion on Bitcoin. Apple itself is over a trillion alone. So you small percentage out of home offices are starting to put in crypto. Gold, small percentage into gold starting to happen. Speaking of which, what about that gold silver ratio uh, that we need to do? Why don't we run you past that? Gold silver 
how is that looking xag um, that's the silver price by the way still a little sick unimpressive let's see if we can get that's gold dollar gold go 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 gold xau xag nearly making the hundred mark so this is still at a point where you should be bearish and concerned uh, but it's at such an extreme that when it turns it could be exceedingly ugly so let's be clear the last time it was this high the last time it's this high and i have kind of done this in previous clips if you watch regularly and religiously although that takes some gumption 90 um we are now heading for 95 and a hundred thousand and at that point that's what you got this is how far you are away from a disorderly increase in gold valuation. So if you think gold's moved a lot so far, watch what happens when the silver gold ratio does that and wonder where your silver price currently sitting at 1523 of the most highly proliferated dollars in the world. Um, imagine where that could go. You could be looking at 50 which was the previous high 100 150 plus for us to get back down to the 30s and by the way it could be bigger than last time because we're going higher remember it's increase in volatility the higher you go the bigger you crash down the bigger the up move and the perversion to the upside the greater the whipping at the bottom of the downside at the bottom he said okay all the mixed metaphors are coming out keeping you entertained so this is what's happening another g20 another liquidity experiment in a tough tough time all this drama about trade wars this and trade wars that oh we'll we'll calm the media on that we'll calm that narrative we need to reinflate reinflate they are playing their usual games you need to be in long speculative longs hold your nose at the overpriced stinky equities that will crash like a dog you better be nimble and a trader if you're going to play that game because they will go higher first they will go higher first before the crash it's a dangerous game it's not one i'm liking to play i prefer being long the bitcoin and the gold which when the crash comes will moon it even further even further than um the others so this is the key uh, game and element you can come and have a trade see if we can find a trade again tomorrow we'll see the number come in it is starting at us time 8 30 in the morning um british time uh, will actually kick off at 12 o'clock british time athens time two plus two uh, um, uh two o'clock uh, so we'll see you then you can purchase your ticket in the links below if you want to come and join uh, and be part of our madness and the community's madness you can come and see the equities we have been shorting where the segments are we're going to do a run through all the traditional markets come and have a look at copper all the other commodities i haven't covered including oil etc and the relationships in between them and what it means for us and how you might be set to survive not only but absolutely thrive in this polarizing event of great financial reset which is in flow happening now it doesn't just happen when lehman's goes bust that's just the news banner that is a straw that breaks the camel's back the five tons you loaded on the camel's back before that last ounce actually was part of the problem and this is what you'll learn and it's already happened he's already wheezing like he's got emphysema this camel he is properly ready to topple anyway enough uh, metaphors speak to you later if you want to come and join us for non-farm you will not only get non-farm you will get after half hour break the crypto session it's a full uh, hour and a half both of them half hour break and an hour and a half assessment on the crypto markets you can come and share uh, time with the rest of our community members guys that are in the sniper circle where we've been tracking so many interesting things <clears throat> and setups um, and you can hear how we all play together nicely and find great trades thanks for watching thanks for watching and i will catch you later um, this is all in the name purely of entertainment purposes nothing is intended as a recommendation okay catch you then bye guys